Hi, I'm Ultraviolet. Welcome to UV short for ultraviolet, the light that can see in the darkness, and today we're going to be doing a reading for Gemini Collective, so you don't necessarily have to be a Gen Gemini sun sign to resonate with this reading, you just see how its magnetic, magnetic push and pull may be affecting you, if not you can go watch another sign, another reader, another reading, whatever serves your soul, remember I know nothing, uh, you serve your own purpose in this world, so take the information that, that serves you well, and that's it, leave the rest. Also, the readings are always genderless, so place yourself where you fit. Um, let's just get right to it. So the vision I had for Gemini was uh, a bit weird. It was really weird, guys. So you're invited to this restaurant. And uh, it's like a fancy restaurant or something. It's all white and it's very small. Um, and there's only like 10 people inside. About 10 people. And the chef, uh, first, like... He's like, okay, welcome. So we have like an entree and you're starving. You're hungry. You're very hungry. And uh, first you eat something really small and everybody's like, oh my God, I'm still starving. Like, I hope this is not it. Like, I need to eat more than this. You're hoping that there's more food coming. And uh, then he starts cooking this kind of like, it looks like a round, um, thick, like, like a flan looking crust of, um, sorry, it's like a, a cake of meat, okay, and it's round and it's like about this thick, okay, and he asked one of the guests to cook it on his head with the heat of his head with a crown, right, so it looked kind of like this, the crown, and you put it, you, he put the meat over it and over the head of the client, and the client's like, really? Like, okay. I was like, yeah, you have to cook it with the heat over the, your head. So he listens and he's like, okay, I guess. Um, so everybody's like, okay, this is kind of weird. And it, it sounds disgusting, right? I was disgusted by it, but I was so hungry. I was like, okay, just serve me some food, please. So um, at some point you have to say something. You're like, uh, don't you find it weird? Like, why are you doing that? Why are you cooking the meat on your head? And he's like, yeah, it is weird, huh? So he goes to the chef and he's like, okay, I think it's ready now. He's like, no, no, uh, keep it on. There's still, uh, it needs more time. So he puts it back on. And eventually after like an hour or something, because he had to slow cook or something, uh, he finally uh, says, okay, it's ready. He takes it off. And when you're sitting on the table, ready to eat, whatever that was, you realize that he didn't even give you a fork. So everybody starts eating, there's almost nothing left, and you're like, I don't even have a fork, because everybody's starving. Um, so everybody gets to eat, and you, you're like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to eat with my hands, and when you're about to grab it, I woke up, and that's it. So I'm like, what does that meat in the head is all about? So I thought of the word meathead. And when I go and research its meaning, it means stupid people that do as they're told, okay? So they didn't give you a fork because God is like, you do not eat at the table with fools who do as they're told, okay? You do as you are led. You follow your own intuition, your own gifts, your own skills, your own guidance, inner guidance, your own inner voice in this life. If someone tells you to wear a crown of meat on your head and you do it, right? Like most of the people out in this society that are told to work, to retire, to marry, to have children, to do everything uh, in, in the box, right? Um, you don't belong at that table. So if you're invited at a table of fools, God is saying to not eat at the table with fools. Okay? Because you're not like them. You don't do as you're told. You have your own unique life to live. So that's the vision I had for Gemini. Now I need the lighter to light the throat chakra here. So it's almost like you don't have a say. They tell you like, or your people expect things from the, from you, or they ask too much from you, and you're starting to feel like a meathead because it's like, uh, can you do this for me, please? Can you do that for me, please? Can you do this for me? And you're like, okay, yeah, no sure, no problem, okay, 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 and you keep doing as you're told. But at some point, you're just gonna feel like, what the hell am I doing, right? Like I have my own life to live. I'm fed up with people telling me what to do for them, you know, or for others. 
um, it's almost like you're losing your inner voice because of all the external expectations of you. Uh, so let's see this one. Reading. If you want more information on my private readings, you can watch till the end, or you could go to the description box below. All the information is right there. And thank you so much for the support, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, all of it. You guys are so sweet, and I love you. You see, the beer represents love. So, so Gemini is full of love, right? But um, these worms, right? These people that are like lifeless, almost, you know, and feels like a bit icky. Um, they're they're making you um, they're almost like barring um, your your expression your light right because the the throat chakra was off it's like you don't have a say in what you want to do with all of this color that you possess all of this knowledge all of this experience so the the worms are just not letting you rebirth and transform and become this beautiful uh, butterfly that you are so um, Careful with eating at the table with fools because you don't belong there. You're you're supposed to free yourself from the caterpillars. Okay, Gemini. These readings are starting to get annoying because it's always like you have to leave that, leave this. It's always that you always have to leave something. So if you don't want to be told to leave cigarettes, leave alcohol, leave um, sex with low vibrational people, leave your addictions, leave. Uh, your jobs that you don't like, then this is not the channel for you because I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what God wants you to know, okay? So your higher self, what your higher self wants from you and what your higher self wants from you is definitely not what the devil wants from you. So you have to decide, are you a karmic or are you a divine? Because you're the ones calling yourself that. So let's see. Energy. You see, you're so clever, Gemini. You're so intelligent, and you're eating at the table with people that are meathead. They're just stupid, and that's the word. Like meatheads are stupid people. That's exactly the definition. So, um, I don't like calling people stupid, but when they're not using their brains and they're just doing as they're told, knowing it feels disgusting. Like, why the fuck would you cook meat on your head with the heat of your head? It's just disgusting. Why would you do that? And you're like watching them, like okay like i guess you're, you're just there like observing all of this and then you wonder why they don't even treat you right even in their stupidity you're still mistreated because they didn't even serve you for like okay you're left out of this beautiful meal uh, it was a disgusting meal in your restaurant or whatever it appeared to be so fancy and everything but it was just the most disgu disgusting experience for you it felt icky there the worm right like, um there you go, starfish. These are brainless people, right? They just go where they're, they're told to go. The starfish are zombies for me, right? You're not a zombie, so you you have so much fire inside of you. Like, you want to free yourself from this environment that's been dimming your light, that's been keeping your light um, in a box. Like, you're like, no, I'm supposed to be a star, not a starfish. <laughs> so, Gemini knows that... They have to free themselves from, like, the darkness, I guess. They have to leave and go towards the light. And these frogs feel icky. These people are always upset, always uh, stuck in, in uh, they have bad karma. They're always stuck in bad luck. And you have to save them all the time from whatever. But at this point, it's like you don't even want to eat the frog. You usually like it, but you're like, ugh, I always get sick when I eat this frog. Because... It's toxic. It's always dark. Whatever they think, whatever they feel, whatever they believe in, it's just dark. And you're like, okay, I, I care about everyone, but they don't care about themselves. And it's starting to feel like a burden. The hawk wants to leave. Yeah, I knew it. So the thieves, the moths, right? They're on you. They just stick to you and they're like, hey, can you do this for me? Oh my God, I don't feel so good. Like, nah, they call you to complain about their love life, complain about their jobs, complain about their, their mistakes, you know? Like, oh, I shouldn't have cheated on her. Now I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Like, okay, but they're just stupid people, right? Small-minded people cheat on people. Small-minded people lie. Small-minded people um, disrespect. Small-minded people behave like this, right? So you are there listening to raccoons, right? That steal, right? They're thieves. So they take from where they're not supposed to take, and then they come to you to complain about the consequences, their karma, right? So you're just getting the worms 
that God is throwing their way to teach them a lesson, but because you're in the way, you're like, God is like, hey, get out of the way, Gemini. And you're like, yeah, but they're my friends, right? So they're like, yeah, you want to stay there? No problem. So when he's throwing karma at them, though, all the worms and the shit falls on you. So you need to get out of the way, right? You're the wolf. You're the leader. You're the alpha. So they're always relying on you to tell them the right way of thinking, right? Because they have no brain. So they rely on your brain to make decisions. Like at some point, like, can you use your brain for yourself and leave, and, and leave a legacy behind and, and lead your people by going where you're supposed to go and, and not staying in the darkness with them you actually leave the darkness behind right all these tears all these bad decisions and you make the right decisions and that's how you'll inspire your surrounding because you're not going to give them time anymore so they're going to have to keep up with your direction your elevation your your strength you know so they're like fuck i want to be an alpha now so they're going to stop complaining they're going to stop but if you listen to them you're just enabling their negative behavior so you, you can't help like that it's like i was watching this girl uh clary what's her name about addictions and it's like if you stay with the addict you're just enabling that person you have to separate from the person that has issues not because you don't love them but it's because you're enabling them because by not losing you they think that they could keep doing it because they're you can't leave right so it's like i'll keep doing it because i have her they can always re rely on you so don't enable people you're an alpha right here it's like they also mimic you a lot um they copy you a lot, yeah, they're unhappy, so whatever good decisions you're making, they end up copying you, and then you lose your own identity, because they're always copying your behavior, and it's just getting annoying at this point, because everything you do, they take those, because they don't make good decisions, so when you start making good decisions, you're like, oh, that's a good idea, so you buy a house, and they're like, oh, okay, me too, I think I'm gonna buy a house, why do you have to do exactly like me, like, can't you do something else, there's so many things you can do in this world, and you're gonna do exactly the things I do, they have no identity so they steal your identity and it's starting to get on your nerves because it's like i don't even know who i am because everyone around me is like me now so it's not nice um to be these mimics because you're the smart one you're the clever one you're the one the reliable one like i said so they're always doing what you're doing and i don't find it's a form of flattery like these people at some point, if they want to do everything you're doing, when you actually fall in love with a person, they're going to want that person too. They're going to want what you have. So these people are sneaky, right? They could steal even the things that you love because they want to be you. Because you're the only one using your brain. Okay? So you have to look at yourself in the mirror and decide whether or not you want to stay in this dark world. Or you want to free yourself from it. Because these moths... Uh, as long as they're there, these moths, and there are a lot of them, right? They're going to keep sticking to you, and they're annoying. It's not a good feeling. It, it gets irritated. You get irritated because your mom wants something for you, your dad wants something for you, your friend wants something from you. They always rely on you because they can't rely on, this, on themselves. They don't have the brains. They don't have the direction. They don't have the wisdom. They don't have the light. They don't have the energy to do it. So they, they cling on your energy to get somewhere in life, but they just end up stealing your energy and using it to sabotage even more whatever they're doing so you're wasting your energy there they're using it to self-destruct so it's just a waste of energy this um give me a second all my candles are turning off here like you're just dying over there you, they're dimming your light left and right first it was like you don't get a say you just wear the meat on your head okay it makes sense after right it's gonna be so delicious you're like okay i guess and then you're they make you unhappy and you're like okay i guess i deserve that it's almost like you don't have the willpower to say like uh no you're not gonna do that that's my idea thank you i don't think these people are good for you a table of fools if you want to sit at the table with fools man it's, it, you have a choice right life always gives you choice right but it's dark there it's really dark and you know it because the moon reveals the truth but it's almost like you you don't know how to stop giving your cup you keep give, giving your cups so like if you keep giving them your energy like at some point you're going to deplete yourself from all that energy and look those dogs look like they're starving or something so you're going to starve over there you guys saw the devil oh no it's just mental torment they're, they're driving me crazy. You always, it's too much. They're dreamy. Okay. These cards are too big. Oh, wow. These people.
people are so deceitful. These people are sneaky. They take whatever good thoughts you have and they're like, okay, I'm going to take that idea from them. I'm going to take this idea from them. Oh, that's a great idea too. Oh, I like that he does that. I think I'm going to do that too. Oh, I like that they're doing that. Everything you think they want to be after, right? They have no say. So it's like whatever Gemini says, I'll do that too, right? But it, they end up cutting themselves because you can't take something that is not yours. So that's another, you see, you can't take something that is not yours. You're going to end up in the tower, right? Because God is like, uh, no, that's not yours. That's Gemini star, not yours. He did the work. But the problem is that um, I had another vision where someone kidnapped my mom's dog, right? Which is my sister, Chiara. Um, so... Well, first it was like my sister's friend that asked me how much is your dog worth? I'm like, I don't know, $900. Like, I don't know why I said that. Um, I didn't think someone was going to want to sell my dog, right? So um, someone ended up selling my, my dog and we're all sad looking for Kiara. And my mom, she's like, Kiara, Kiara. And my dog answers, right? So at some point we find her at a convenience store and the the people that were that bought Chiara um, we're looking for Chiara because Chiara found, found us and all we do is lie down on the floor me, my mom, my stepfather we were all with our heads on each other and my dog just puts her head on my mom's shoulder like no, this is my owner so one, they can't sell, they can't sell something that it was never theirs Okay, uh, you can never sell something that is not yours two um, your soul tribe will always find a way back to you, right? What is right, right, rightfully yours will always come back to you. Um, so no matter what they think they're stealing from you, because I have another vision <laughs> about that too. Um, when you start elevating, right? And you start getting your stars, right? Your, your wish fulfillments, wish fulfillments. Uh, people are going to mimic the way you got there to get there because they think that's the way, right? That's the worst thing to do. That's so much karma because God is like, no, I gave you unique gifts. That's their gifts, you know? So in my other vision, they, I, uh, you, you're, I'm carrying a baby. And a baby is whatever you believe in, whatever you're giving birth to, your ideas, your businesses, yours. So this craft is mine, is my baby. And I'm nurturing that baby. And I'm very protective because in my dream, I adopted that baby. The same way my mom adopted Tiara. So when you adopt a baby, um, it, it's yours and you love it and you want to protect it. And at some point someone was like, oh, can I hold her? And I wasn't sure. Like I was like this in a window and I was about to hand it to her, but I had a feeling that they were going to try to steal her. And I'm like, no, I, I'd rather not. And she wanted to pull on the baby. And I'm like, oh my God, they're trying to steal my baby. So I ended up not like protecting my baby, keeping her close and dancing with her. And there was a person next to me um, that told that person, before you ever steal her baby, you will die. You know, that's what she said in my dream. So before they could ever steal your baby, like God is going to explode everything in their life because they're stealing something that is not theirs. Okay, so um, you nurture that baby, you protect that baby, you um, take care of your ideas. And when you start um, noticing that people around you are mimicking you, that's a red flag. Okay. Um, these people um, don't really love you. They use your light to get to where you are, okay? So, um, and then they don't want you, right? They don't, they block your stardom. So they want to get to success before you with your own ideas, with your own craft, with your own business, right? And they want to get to success and they want you to not uh, tower, seven of cups, make the wrong decisions. They want to get away with murder here and keep you stuck, right? And then they're like, haha, I win, right? But before they do that, death, heartbreak. God will never let them take what you believe in. Can you forget that? So it's so protected. You don't need to fear. When people start mimicking you, uh, taking your style, you know, copy, copying your swag, everything, like you just know that the universe noticed that. And this is what they're gonna send to them. Heartbreak, death, feeling like they're gonna feel dead because you're not being authentic. You're stealing someone else's authenticity. So um, you keep working hard on which your destination. You know, you could do, uh, keep 
this is a bit of lack of self-love right and because you don't love enough yourself enough that you keep letting them burden you with whatever they require from you even though they're stealing your gifts so they could get to this destination before you by depleting you and keeping you drained and how it's because they want you to eat at the table with them so when they're you're around them that's where they suck all that energy so don't give to them give to your fruitful connections those that are resort resourceful so the, the the founder of amazon said life's too short to be around people who are not resourceful life's too short to be around people who are full of drama full of chaos they always fight they always wrong they're wrongdoing people they, they they're not honorable you know they don't have honor today i was like fuck is there a race that i want to date maybe japanese japanese have a lot of honor right so I want people who have honor and they want to bring honor to their family and they do right by their their loved ones and and it's it's sacred you know but these people it's like all about self self satisfaction and satisfaction their own desires so they don't care who they're keeping in the darkness right because the curtain is like they're lying to you and they're showing you like no no i'm good for you but there's a reason why they look a bit depleted dark like fat like they just take all these cups from other people's jobs and they show up like, no, I'm stable because of other people's cups that I took, right? Uh, it's just a facade because they feel disgusting on the inside and dead. And they don't know who they are, right? That's the truth. And because of that, they're losing all their angels. So they're without protection in the universe because of the way they live life by taking light from those who are actually righteous. They mean well, right? 11-11, you're like a divine here, so... Um, when God notices that, that you've been giving to these people that act like your friends that you celebrate with and, and then they burden you and make you feel like you don't deserve uh, your cup filled, you know, um, that's when they, they're forced to, you're forced to walk away. But if you stay there and you don't make that, that authority decision that no, you cannot take what I believe in, then you're going to miss out on the wheel of fortune. So you better um, focus on what you believe in here, right? And your baby, your, your, and know that it's always protected. Whatever is yours will always come back to you. Um, but you have to act like a king. It's like, um, cause the universe shows you the truth, but they, they send you clouded judgment. Like, no, no, I will never do that to you. How can you even think that of me? You know, you've not been your friend forever. Like, of course not. Like, how can you think that? that I would ever try to hurt you or, or steal your ideas or whatever, but your soul told you the truth. The Ace of Swords is here. Like, you feel the truth. You're shown the truth because you're divine. So your angels are like, no, these people are, they're just taking all they can from your cleverness, from your intelligence, from your, your determination, your ambition, your direction, your creativity, whatever it is, like, they're taking it because they don't know what the fuck they're doing with their lives. They're so lost. So all they could do is copy, but by doing that, they're just going to end up broken, five of pentacles, broke, <laughs> like, you're going to lose it all because when you steal something that's not yours, that person paid $900 for my dog, the dog came back to me, so, and she just looked at us with tears in her eyes, like, wow, I, I, I almost stole that dog from her owner, and she had tears in her eyes, so, um, she just lost nine hundred dollars. When you take something that's not yours, you end up losing money, and you're like losing things because you can't buy something that's not yours. <laughs> so, um, stop working with these people that all they do is gossip about others. Uh, they think that they're they're priests or something. They think that they're actually good people, and they they show people that they're honest and they're priests, you know. But in the end, they're raping children, you know. So it's like no uh you know best so sometimes it's better to work alone than to work with these fake people that show like they mean well for society but behind the curtains they're doing really disgusting things that you know about but sometimes you close your intuition because you love to nurture and you have to be careful with that you have to be careful with nurturing uh, the wrong people so you have to stop being indecisive about like what's right and what's wrong you know what's right and what's wrong so maybe you should stop smoking here the smoke maybe you should stop letting others tell you what decisions to make and you keep making your right decisions without their their opinions like maybe you shouldn't do that oh no i think it's a good idea why do you need to go to them to get to god god is talking directly to you he's telling you okay that's not right cut it out okay then like go left go right like he's telling you exactly what you need to nurture and you're putting your intuition in reverse because you're just a good person here. 
that loves to work with others but um eventually if you keep doing that you're just gonna feel so tired and depleted of your own energy that you're not gonna have the energy to get out of this um starfish in reverse like almost like you see the light but there's no energy here it feels like there's no energy the raccoon is in reverse the moth is like just, it keeps setting itself everywhere the moth right and it keeps going to the light like you can't think you can't do anything um with clarity anymore because you're tired you're just tired so start nurturing um your creativity because there's burgundy here and burgundy is good for manifestations um green is like whatever you love and and love your manifestations nurture your manifestations and and make sure that because uh, they say it takes a community to raise a child right so make sure your community is acting in a way that you would want your children to be right so if your best friend is a liar a cheater a, a dishonest person a, a selfish person egotistical narcissistic like whatever that you want that energy around your child wouldn't you protect your child from that so why would you have it around your ideas why would you your ideas are your children um so you have to be very selective who is going to help you raise your manifestations okay but the the i don't like that the the high priestess is in reverse because that means that you're refusing to listen to your intuition and you're becoming indecisive and all that's going to bring its heartache and burdens so because you can't be alone, misery does love company. So that table of fools, man, they love the company. The meals, like, what the fuck are they doing eating this meat? It looks disgusting. Why am I here? Like, can I leave? I'm hungry. I want to go home. Dirty dream. Like, I just everything, but stay there with fools. So, uh, Gemini, um, be more selective with who's around your children. Okay. Because you're taking all your intelligence, using it to your their advantage, and they're going to get to the destinations that you've been planning before you because you're giving them all your ideas. Like, it's sad. Don't do that. So, let me see. Let me ask you guys. No, they're saying this one. Okay. Annoyed. Yeah, they're starting to annoy you. Like you're, you're really annoyed with them because they, they're, they're always asking you for things. But do they ever show up? Like, hey, can I do something for you? Or hey, I really love you and just wanted you to know. You know, are they doing things like that for you? Or when they call, it's only because they need something from you. Or it's all business. It's all about money. And you're starting to be disappointed that your kindness is being t disappointed again, right? Angry, nervous, thankful in reverse, frustrated, like bored curious in reverse like you're not impressed with their behavior at all like you're just disappointed that you wanted to be kind and by being kind they disappointed you and now they're angry like you're angry and nervous because you find it unfair so all you do is look at them bored with their behavior and not sure what to do so the nerves here it's like they're starting to drive you crazy here you, you need to be careful but there's something like fear here of hurting someone's feelings or fear of your your people pleaser like you you're you're fearing something here it's almost like your brain is trained to think that it's impolite to leave the the table of fools even though they didn't serve you a fork like i would have left i'm like fuck guy it's like okay but if you guys don't want me here why am i here like let me go fuck you just want me to watch you guys eat and then you leave me the facts, like, of the meat, like, what is this, like, yeah, what is this, like, the pentacle, like, what is this, like, you're starting to become aware of, like, what kind of fucking fuckery is this, like, I don't like it, <laughs> um, this reading is very, like, you see, um, a lot of cards piled up, you piled up, okay, this is what happened, you've accumulated so much injustice from everyone around you everyone that this is about to explode and when you explode because angry is here when you explode it comes out out of nowhere and it's like okay but why did you have to overreact like that it's because you accumulated since 2000 uh, 1997 and now in 2020 you just find that 2021 you finally said enough and you exploded and you're like why the fuck did you overreact like that it wasn't worth that much the fact that i didn't bring you a fork it wasn't the fork 
It was everything in the past. The fact that you steal my ideas, the fact that you steal the people I love, the fact that every time I like a girl or a boy, you end up flirting with them. Every time I, like, things like that. Like, it's just like, I've been kind to you. I've been a good friend. And because I'm, I'm, I'm raised to not dishonor people and be impolite and to people please and to never say no because I have to do the right thing, you guys took advantage of that. And now I'm aware of that. So I wasted years trying to keep friendships that were never real. So now I'm just p pissed off. But now it came out all fucked up because you've accumulated. And that's the problem with kind people because they don't want to create conflict. They accumulate they don't say nothing, and when they do, you're the crazy one because you're spoiling. And you exploded after a, a thousand wrongdoings, after uh, after one action that they did too much, right? So it's like, okay, I just did that. Relax. I just didn't bring a fork, you know. Like fuck you. Like the fork was enough for, like was the last thing I needed. Like that's it. The drop that I needed for me to go. Like fuck you. Fuck everyone. You just put the whole table. You need to be careful with that because it happens to me too. Kind people tend to accumulate too much. And that's not good but it's okay now let it out and be confident that there's something new for you surprises you see this card just fell so be confident that there's beautiful surprises for you because you're kind no matter what uh, even though you're gonna lose certain past friendships or whatever uh, maybe your own siblings your family your parents like that are just very disappointing and using your kindness uh, or your vulnerability, or your your maybe here brain. Oh my God! In my dream, the baby was autistic, and these people were like, they would see an autistic baby, and they're like, oh, poor him, like, oh, you know, like when they see a Down syndrome kids, like, oh, poor, like, what kind of fucking disgusting person are you to behave like that? It's a fucking human being. Why are you pitying them? They're happy. They're okay. They're just unique. They're more connected to God than you think. They're very creative, very intelligent. Treat them like a normal fucking person. Stop looking at them like, oh, poor you. You're not like me, a miserable piece of shit that takes advantage of my friends and I don't know who the fuck I am and I steal ideas from people. Like, that. you're the you're the one I should go like, oh, what a pathetic excuse of a human being that you are, okay? So these people that act like good people because, oh, I took care of the Down syndrome children. Like, okay, you're just doing this to show that you're a good person, to give yourself some type of validation um, purpose whatever but um my friend uh, the person in my dream that told the person that tried to steal the baby uh, she has an autistic child in real life and that child is the happiest kid i know like it's just and she's like there's nothing like why are you like don't do that so maybe there is something with your brain here and because your brain maybe you're autistic or something and you don't know it or and it's weird because I do know a Gemini that's autistic. So if you're watching this, uh, you're starting to become aware that you might not have people that truly, truly care about you. And that's uh, starting to make you very angry because you lost opportunities here um, because of these people. So they're taking your weakness for... Um, to they're, Oh, wow. They're taking advantage of your, your disabilities, which this is disgusting. So if you do think you have disabilities... Um, you are clever and when you decide on something right because this is a decision when you decide on something forget it like the universe brings you that pentacle right when you decide on something your ships arrive the universe gives you that pentacle and really fast because they know how righteous you are look the king of pentacles like they know you are righteous but if you don't let go of these friendships and move away from these people that take advantage of your patience and your 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 thoughts, right? Because I think it's mental disability here. Um, you're going to keep giving yourself and you're going to feel stuck. And you will not manifest the happy family, everything, the abundance, the way you want to manifest it with peace, love, kindness, reciprocal give and take, you know, harmony, bliss, all of that. Um, so careful with this. Um, these people that only serve themselves. They're not serving God. They serve themselves. So, um, I would, you're going to burst out at them and they're going to see no wrong. You're like, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know why you overreacted like that. Or you must be weird or there must, they must be crazy. They must be bad or whatever. Like, no, when it's convenient, you're not crazy. huh? So careful with your baby, your next investment or your next idea. You have to protect it with everything because they don't want you to go anywhere with that idea. They want you to live like this, then they're gonna steal your idea, 
you're going to remain like this, and they're going to go forward with it, and look who's going to celebrate after this egotistical emperor that used you all his life, or their life. So this reading is a bit intense, I find, for a, a very good person. It's like, whoa, that's evil. Because that woman tried to steal my baby. Who the fuck steals a baby? Who steals a dog? Who buys a dog? Like, that's 12 years old. I'm just saying, like, who steals a dog? Who steals a baby? Um, even at the store where I was with the baby, there was a, f a bunch of people and I was trying to protect it because it's exposed and everybody knows I have it. And I tried to hide in the bathroom and the bathroom was disgusting. So that's where they want you to end up with your idea in a disgusting place. They don't want your baby to be in a happy place, in a, in a clean space. They don't want your baby to be a confident, uh, beautiful thing. Like, so... Be sorry people are going to say sorry for their behaviors. You're going to forgive them and uh, stop being uh, innocent, you know. They take uh, advantage of your naivety. You're not naive anymore. You're aware now, okay? When you were ignorant to the fact that it's okay, forgive yourself, you know, that maybe you didn't see clearly. Well, you always felt it though. There was always something telling you. Hmm, there's something wrong about the, these people I chill with and drink with. All they do is offer alcohol, 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 things that are not good for me. And I always end up heartbroken because they steal the people that I love or the things that I love. And I live them because I'm a good person, right? So, um, uh, your baby does not belong in a crowded place, uh, in a disgusting bathroom. Uh, these people just, they push you into the wrong direction. So me, I was trying to protect it. And I ended up in the bathroom because there was a lot of people looking at me. So I was like, where do I go? Where do I go? And I had to keep my baby safe in a disgusting place. Like, get out of there. And I just wanted to leave the store. And even at the store, all they were selling was packs of cigarettes, like all over the wall. I'm like, they, they, you're not selling me anything good here. Why is there so much people? And at the end, I asked for earplugs or something because I don't want to hear them anymore. Uh, headphones and earplugs or whatever to get peace and they didn't want to serve me again right the forks uh, the cashier didn't want to serve me so I had to get dressed I felt so awkward um, in that dream like I was wearing a weird dress like because I couldn't I couldn't stop protecting that baby so I couldn't get dressed I was so stressed out I couldn't do anything with logic anymore and people's like oh you look good like compliments here compliments there I don't know who to trust, like I felt so small, like a baby. So you have to move forward uh, and have confidence that whatever you commit to will bring you success and you don't need nobody to do this. You just go for it and then you'll attract your soul tribe because in my dream, my dog, me and my mom and my stepfather, we found each other because your soul tribe will always find uh, their way back to you, okay? So good luck with this, Gemini. I'm sorry you have uh, such evil people around you just trying to take what is yours. But like she said in my dream, before you can ever steal her baby, right? For me, it would be my craft or whatever I believe in. You will die again. The death card showed up right after that. So um, if they want to play with fire like that, let them. Because copycat trying to cop my glamour. Watch your back because you can't watch mine. Copycat. Mm -hmm. uh, you got your finger on your trigger, but your trigger finger is mine. So if they take it, pa, they shoot themselves. So that's a choice they're making. If they take whatever is yours, they're going to end up shooting themselves. Right? They're going to shoot themselves. Like, whatever they do to you. When they spit, and they say in French, like, quand on crache vers le haut, ça nous revient en face. So when you spit uh, to people that are high, well, it's going to come back to your face, you know? So, you're divine, you're protected, your baby's safe, right? And the end, like, your baby was with you and I was dancing, so you're protected, your idea's protected, everything's protected, but you need to leave that store full of fake people in the disgusting bathroom and that table with fools, and it was just a mess, this dream, and friends that steal your dog for riches, like, what's going on? What's going on? That dream was too much for me, right? So, um, you have to stop doing as you're told and start telling them what to do it's like you don't want to do this for me now okay so i'm done serving you i enjoy what i gave you but i'm out um don't feel bad for being a good person you will always be rewarded for that okay um so i love you and if you want a private reading with me i would really love that so what i do during my private readings uh first i schedule i need 24 hours before so i could get a vision for you 
then um, uh, during the time that we choose, and we're going to video call each other through Messenger, Zoom, WhatsApp, whatever we can use. And I'm going to activate your chakras so you become receptive to your messages. I do a little ritual, a cleansing ritual to clear the energy to receive yours uh, with your name. And I connect to your energy. Then I give you a general reading uh, regarding what your intuition has been trying to tell you and that maybe you've been ignoring. Uh, and then after the general reading, you can ask me questions about things that are unclear in your life and we'll go get answers for you. But usually people are like, no, you pretty much answered everything that I wanted answers for, you know. But sometimes they do have like one question or whatever. It doesn't matter. I have fun with it. I always use a bit of sense of humor to lighten up the moon because when we explore our shadow sides, you know, let's try to laugh about our, our, our weaknesses, right? I, I still have work to do on myself, so I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. I still have shadow work to do. I have fear of abandonment. Um, I have fear of uh, success, maybe. I have that I'm carrying and my heart has been so wounded that maybe I'm rejecting people too fast. So there's things that I want to also work on myself. So we're here together. We're on this journey together. I will learn as much from you than you will do from me. And the whole experience is it's supposed to feel like awakening. And when you leave my readings, you're supposed to feel optimistic about your next days and your next moves and become aware of your thinking and everything. So it's all to help you uh, maximize your potential on earth, you know, so in this lifetime. So I hope, it's, I hope it serves you well. I'm here to serve you all. And I love you so much for all the beautiful um feedback I've been getting, the support, the people that, my return clients that come every week, like I just have no words to express my gratitude and um, I would love to meet you and um, thank you so much. Have yourself a good day and night wherever you are and I'll see you uh, later with the next reading, whenever that is. Okay, bye.